This is how you can make sure you're studying enough hours for the MCAT, even if you're working a full-time job or if you're a full-time student. And I know this is not an easy thing to do, but if you want a good score on the MCAT, you simply have to put in the hours to get it. This is a quick two-step process. Step one, look at your schedule and see which days could I realistically have a class on. And you want to plan out your week like you're taking a 10 credit hour class. So you have 10 hours of class time. And this class doesn't have any homework, so all you have to do is plan out when am I going to attend this 10 hour class. Once you have those days planned out, you have to treat it like a real class and attending that class is non-negotiable. So if other things come up that you want to go to, but they are scheduled during that class time, you cannot go. You have to sacrifice those things to make sure you're getting in the hours for MCAT prep. Once you've done that, step two is anytime you are studying, take a stopwatch and you start that stopwatch right when you feel focused. And then you have to stop that stopwatch anytime your focus breaks. This could be due to things like checking a text, petting your dog, getting up to go to the bathroom, anything that breaks your focus from studying you have to stop that stopwatch for. Your goal is just to have the stopwatch run as much as possible during those dedicated hours. And a really good benchmark that you want to be trying to reach is to have that stopwatch running for 75% of the time frame that you've dedicated to studying for the MCAT. So for example, if you have 10 hours during that week to study, your goal is to get 7.5 of those hours to be logged on that stopwatch. And I promise you, if you can find those 10 hours to study per week, and then get that seven and a half hours on that stopwatch, you will be able to make some progress. 